Welcome to WWE King of the Hill. The way this works is very simple. At first, one superstar will start on top of the hill. Then I'm going to spin this wheel and whoever it lands on will join the hill for our first matchup. So for example, our first matchup would be Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns. The winner of that match will then stay on top of the hill while the loser is eliminated. This will continue until there's just one superstar remaining and they will be the King of the Hill. And every match, I'll be picking one of these stipulations. And we begin with with Randy Orton making his way to the ring. But here is the tribal chief, the current king of the hill, Roman Reigns. Let the king of the hill begin. Roman, Randy, make your predictions down below for every match. Who's winning this? Who's becoming the king of the hill in WWE? And this is pretty funny because this match is probably going to happen at the Royal Rumble. And it's the first match getting us started. I think I have to go with Roman in this one. Randy, though, he's trying to make me eat that prediction because he's starting off pretty well. He's got Roman and he's flipping him over. And Roman having none of that rolling out of the ring. But Orton going to chase him. And Randy Orton says, you're not getting away from me. But maybe Roman doesn't want to. He's got a headbutt. Randy has not done much since the opening bell. And Roman sees an opening the spear oh no knee to the face never mind randy orton from out of nowhere rko and this one could be over for roman no he gets the rope break randy orton the viper you never see him coming and now he's taking control of this matchup with the vintage ddt from the middle rope this is a great first match at king of the hill it's anybody's matchup roman can he finally land his finisher doesn't even go for because randy's countered it every time but he's going for it now. Spear, is it incoming or will it be countered by Orton again? He countered it again! Randy Orton RKO! He has Roman's playbook. One, two, three! Roman Reigns is out of King of the Hill! And Roman Reigns eliminated from King of the Hill to start it. Well, now we need to know Randy Orton's next opponent on King of the Hill to try to retain his championship and his spot on top of the hill, and it's The Rock. The Rock making his King of the Hill debut. Can he take his spot on top of the hill? Or can Randy Orton keep his spot on top of the hill and the Undisputed Universal Championship? Randy, let's see what we can do here. Randy Orton outside the ring trying to make The Rock tap. Trying to make it two in a row, but The Rock is not going to tap out this early on in the matchup. But a good try by Randy Orton there. Randy has got the steel steps and connects to the cranium of The Rock. And The Rock is down. Getting hit with steel steps does not feel good. Randy Orton is taking his spot at the top of the hill. Personally, he doesn't want to give it up. And here's our first pin outside the ring. One kick out at one, though. Back inside the ring now. Both men have their signatures. Will either of them use it? Both men closing in on a finisher. Rock has his. Can the Rock connect with a finisher here? He's looking for one. Rock bottom to Orton. Will that be it? In the false count anywhere match. Two, kick out of two by Randy. Rock has a spine buster. Will he use it? He will. He's used the rock bottom. He's now used the spine buster. He's in a prime position to win this one. And he's waiting for Orton to get up. He wants another rock bottom. Orton, rock bottom to Randy. Will it do it? Is the rock moving on? Two. Randy kicks out at two. Rock going for a pin. Honestly could do it. He didn't hit any move. But Randy's taking so much damage that that will do it. Just a regular pin out of nowhere. No offensive moves were really hit. Randy was down. The Rock pins him. And The Rock is now champion and king of the hill. And that means now that Randy Orton has been eliminated from king of the hill. And he will no longer reign on top of this hill. Well, as of now, nobody has won consecutive matches matches and stayed on the hill for more than one match but now we have a rock undertaker matchup the undertaker is looking to take his spot on top of the hill but the rock is looking to stay on top of this hill for at least one more match and welcome ladies and gentlemen to hell in a cell the stipulation i decided for this matchup here we go undertaker rock inside the cell. Already we might have some steel action. No, not quite. The Rock thought he was going to hit the steel. Just falls flat before he gets there. But Undertaker, you know, he wants to put somebody through this cage in some way. He's done it many times. But it's going to be Undertaker. No, he falls flat. That doesn't go through the cage either. Taker has a signature though. He's looking for the last ride for The Rock inside the cell. The Rock is planted. Is that going to do it? 
Are you gonna go for the cover, Undertaker? No, you're actually gonna get rolled up by the rock and he steal one. No, he can't. Undertaker now looking for the tombstone pile driver to put the rock away. Tombstone pile driver. Will the rock rest in? No, he kicks out at two to stay on top of the hill, but his time might be coming to an end. Rock has a finisher. He's not out of this one yet. If he hits the rock bottom, he can turn this match around and he connects with the rock bottom. That could be it for Undertaker. Two. Undertaker kicks out at two. Now Undertaker, he's looking to end it again. He's got another tombstone pile driver. It connects. Is it time now for the rock? to rest in peace. Undertaker takes the top of the hill, takes the top spot on the King of the Hill and the WWE Universal Championship. And that will do it for the People's Champ. The Rock has been eliminated from King of the Hill. I wanna see somebody go on a run here. Who is gonna be able to maintain their spot on the hill for more than one match? And now we have an Undertaker versus Stone Cold Steve Austin match. The Rattlesnake now messing around in King of the Hill. He wants the top spot and the WWE title. But can someone finally win a consecutive match on top of the hill? It's time for Undertaker to try. We've got our ourselves a tables match here between Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin. First man to go through a table will be the loser and the other will maintain the spot on top of King of the Hill. Austin though, finally starting to get something going. He's got the table in hand. Okay, never mind. Doesn't have the table in hand. Walks into a choke slam instead. What the heck just happened? Austin planted and now Undertaker setting up the table in the corner. This could be a quick matchup. Where's Undertaker going? Why are you getting two? You only need one. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribe and we're on the road to 100k. Undertaker gonna use the table to hit Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's gonna set that table up. Now we have two set up tables inside the ring and this could be a quick matchup. If Undertaker can lift Austin and put him through the table, this one is done. Austin lifted up. Can he go through the table here? Undertaker puts Austin through the table, makes quick work of the rattlesnake and Undertaker retains his title and more importantly for this video, his spot on the king of the hill. And we already say goodbye to the Texas Rattlesnake who was pretty much owned by Undertaker in this matchup. Now we see if Undertaker can go on a run and win three in a row. He's up against his kryptonite though in Brock Lesnar. The Beast Incarnate. No love lost between these two superstars. We have a no holds barred match upcoming. But can Brock Lesnar take a spot on top of the hill here and become the new king? Or could the Undertaker make it three? in a row. He's starting his new streak here on King of the Hill. It would be only right to make it 3-0 against Lesnar. Like I said, no love lost between these two superstars. No holds barred. Belly to belly already from Brock Lesnar trying to take Undertaker to Suplex City. Already hit him with two suplexes and Brock's trying to take that spot on King of the Hill and the championship. Undertaker's not messing around either. Got himself a nice DDT to Brock. And Undertaker might be trying to get himself a weapon already. The steel steps are gonna be coming into play. Can Undertaker do anything with them? Brock's not gonna let him do anything with them. Oh my good, what a suplex! Undertaker hit the top of the ring! Taker though, he wants this win. He wants this win worse than any other win so far and he's willing to go old school for it. Undertaker walking the top rope, hitting Lesnar with old school. Brock's trying to take Undertaker to Suplex City. Not gonna work though. Undertaker loading up the choke slam, and down goes Lesnar. And Undertaker looking to put Brock away. If he connects with a tombstone, he might. But Brock might counter. Will he counter? He won't counter. Tombstone pile driver. Undertaker trying to take his third victim in King of the Hill. Can he get the pin? Here we go. One, two. Brock kicks out at two. Are we going for a superplex right here from the top rope? Oh my, Undertaker going for the superplex. He's gonna hit it too. Undertaker from the top rope and the ring just collapsed in King of the Hill. I've never gotten that animation in this game and Undertaker wins. Are you kidding me? What an ending to this match. I have never seen that. And that'll take Brock Lesnar right out of King of the Hill. We have four superstars left on the wheel, which means we have four more matches left in King of the Hill. And next up is Hogan versus Taker. Hulkamania making his way to the ring, trying to take this King of the Hill title 
from The Undertaker. But Undertaker's on a streak, and when Undertaker's on a streak, you do not want to see this man. And this match is happening inside a steel cage. Undertaker Hogan in the steel cage. Winner moves on and continues. Taker's trying to escape already. If he somehow escapes, that'd be unbelievable. But something's telling me that's not going to happen because Hogan gets up almost immediately. And Hogan's not going to let Taker escape this matchup just yet. And he's got him. Hogan possibly going to powerbomb Taker. And there it is. And now both men are going to try to get out of the cage here. Instead of going back inside the ring, both of them on top of the cage. If one of them falls, this thing's done with. Undertaker, you got to stop Hogan. Face first goes Hogan. If he tosses him off the cell here or the cage, Hogan or Taker, one of them are going to lose here. If one of them goes flying off the cell back inside the ring, this one's over and it's going to be Taker. Hogan could win this if he taps X a little bit faster. Hogan can't quite finish it. Oh, I thought he had it. Finally, both men are back in the ring. The big boot from Hogan. Hogan tried to pin him, man. You just hit him with the big boot. You might as well do it. I don't know how Taker got up that quickly after a big boot from Hogan. But someone hit a finisher and then climb. Let's see something here. Undertaker, kind of like the last ride, but it's just a power bomb. And now Undertaker has Hogan. It's Tombstone time. Tombstone Pile driver, is it over? One, two, Hogan kicks out at two. Who would have thought after a finisher you can do it? But Taker, you gotta climb quicker. You're almost there, but Hogan's almost there. Finish it, Undertaker, he's gone. Four and O oh in King of the Hill. Hogan can only watch as Undertaker has escaped the cage and is 4-0 oh in the King of the Hill. See you later, Hulkamania from King of the Hill. Well, now Undertaker has gone on a great run in King of the Hill. He's 4-0, oh. now he gets Cena. For this next match, up. We head backstage for a backstage brawl. No pinfall, no submission. The only way to win is to KO your opponent. Knock them out so they cannot continue. Will Undertaker move to 5-0 against John Cena or will Cena finally end Undertaker's streak here at King of the Hill? Taker though with the military press slam onto the concrete. That does not feel good for John Cena right now and Undertaker is just going at it with rights and lefts but Cena they run into each other. Undertaker trying to load up the choke slam. Cena too quick and now Cena vintage Cena with the suplex. Cena's got a weapon now. Cena has a shovel. Cena hitting him with the shovel. Cena hitting him twice with the shovel. Undertaker just taking shovel shot after shovel shot. Three shovel shots from John Cena. A little tornado clothesline by Taker. And now Undertaker. It could be last ride time. Is there a counter by Cena? Doesn't look like it. Last ride onto the concrete. AA coming to the Undertaker. This could KO the Undertaker and end his streak in King of the Hill. Undertaker loses! John Cena wins the backstage brawl and Undertaker is knocked off the hill. Well, after a fantastic run, the Undertaker is done. Well, only two men remain. It's Triple H or HBK versus John Cena. We got ourselves a TLC match between Cena and Triple H. Winner moves on to the finals to determine the king of the hill, but you have to win this match to get there. A TLC match. Who's going to grab the title hanging above the ring? Will it be Cena or the game? Cena going to work on the game here. Is he going to be the man that could climb the ladder? He's on the winning streak right now at 1-0 and grab his title and become 2-0. Or will it be Triple H, who has a free chance at the title right now? Because Cena's bringing in steel steps. Triple H could grab the title right here, and we won't even have to worry about Cena trying to retain. Triple H, you got to hit the thing five times. Triple H has done it once. Can he do it twice before Cena grabs him? He does, but I don't think he's going to be able to get it all. As Cena going to knock Triple H off? Is Triple H going to fall off the ladder? He will, and now Cena could win it. And Triple H, why would he roll out of the ring? You got to get back in the ring. Cena, he just has to grab it two more times, and he's moving on to the finals. He does it twice. How did he do that? John Cena wins just like that in the TLC. Shawn Michaels has a chance to win King of the Hill in his first matchup. Or John Cena will go 3-0 in King of the Hill, retain his title, and win the whole thing. And for this final match, we have a last man standing match. You have to put your opponent down for the count of 10. Whoever does it 
will be king of the hill. Gotta put your opponent down for the count of 10. You gotta hit big moves for that to happen. Cena, what the heck was that? Not sure what he was looking for there. John, you gotta hit AAs. You gotta hit five knuckle shuffles for Shawn Michaels. You gotta hit super kicks. You gotta hit sweet chin musics. If you do that, you gotta put your opponent down for the 10 count, but Cena's going for the weapons. That'll work too. John's got a chair. We saw what he could do with the shovel in the backstage brawl against Undertaker. But right now, not able to use the chair as Michaels is trying to take control of this matchup and the suplex. Cena back to his feet. Michaels misses with the chair. Cena counters. And now, John had Michaels in the corner. You could go for a super AA if you're John Cena. I've seen it before in this game. But Cena instead still steps to the head of Shawn Michaels. And that could drop him for a 10 count. John could end it with an AA. Attitude adjustment. Start the count. Cena, if you pick him up, I don't know what you're doing anymore. Seven count. Michaels has three seconds. Usually you can tell by the count of eight. He's down. Is he going to get up? Or will John Cena nine? He gets up at nine to save King of the Hill. I actually can't believe it. Michaels outside the ring. Count of seven. Count of eight. He's got to get up. Nine. He's not getting up. John Cena has won King of the Hill. All he did was toss him outside the ring. Michaels gets up after 10. And John Cena is your King of the Hill and WWE Universal Champion. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.